As always, the first thing to do before going into a dungeon is create a nice cup of coffee. It's good SP gain, and we're going to need it for just the sheer length of this yes. upcoming dungeon. All right. Mm -hmm. So how long is this dungeon? Is this, this is the big one? This is the biggest no, this one is the, the big one. This is, this like, completely overshadows every other one of the dungeons that we're doing. It's good. I'm, I split it up into three parts because I just <laughs> could not make it into one video, and it's going to be, like, three hours long. Oh, yeah. That's right. This I, is awful. I mean, we're, we're at endgame, except we're not. We know that there's, there's still the whole mementos thing, and I don't know what's going to happen in there. Obviously, at this point in time, I am, I'm kind of, like, caught up as far as getting to the bottom of me mementos and everything like that so maybe it won't be too much more past that point like if you've been if you've been dipping in there a little bit every game but god i don't i there's there's been nothing in the story to suggest that there's going to be anything after fighting shido well he's, he's the big guy well other than goro right like a uh, good point there yeah, yeah i mean that that that's true no, maybe Chris Goro can't have his own palace, so he so Mementos is kind of his version of it. You, you keep saying that, but yeah, I was gonna say like they they have to do something to explain that, and it, I don't think it would be too hard to explain away. You have to find somebody whose palace it is, but you could probably do some crap where it's like well, we gotta have a dungeon somewhere, <laughs> and we're not way, gonna I, go and like fight him in the real world. As much as I hate all the dumb trivia in this game, it, I, it does make me want to like try different types of coffee. Well, I genuinely theory. love the coffee trivia. I think that's yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I included it in here. Yes. I, I, again, as also, I we saying, got to see that scene that was clearly intended to be after, um, you know, the Futaba storyline and not right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little bit late to be apologizing about that, Sojiro. <laughs> Yep, I know what the stakes are. The, the weekly, no, it's not. It's you, so funny. You guys have such an inflated opinion of what you do. I, I love that Ryuji is just, yeah, again, he's just giving this dumb inspirational speech that doesn't make sense given what we know in the last episode where uh, he didn't even know who, Sh like, Shido was, basically. <laughs> like, he is only vaguely aware of Masayoshi Shido, who he's going to be <laughs> trying to change the heart of. Yep, who, who, who we are personally attacking, like, in roughly five seconds. No, wait, there's one more scene. No, never forget about that. The, we got more royal content to go through. I mean, the other thing is that never forget that Ryuji does have a rivalry with one of his bodyguards. That's true. Uh, and that is a very weird, like, sub, <laughs> sub saga. I like it. Yes. It, it doesn't make any sense at all, and obviously everything that we're going to be doing has nothing to do with that. But maybe we'll get to see him personally get fired or something after Shido gets, gets beaten in the palace. It's kind of like a prestige TV drama where, you know, you just have one of the bodyguards, you know, in some intensive rivalry, and they kind of just, like, stare at each other like, you, you're, you're the problem. <laughs> you're part of the problem. You pushed me, not once, but twice. Yeah. That's the main character's thing. He like, pushes people down. And let me tell you, when we get to that final boss fight, because I, I already have previewed a little bit of it, it's like, oh boy, that is a boss fight. Do, do the do the bodyguards show up? No. No. Okay, okay. Because that would have been awesome if the main character... They never you know, do that. Joker had to fight Cheeto, and then Ryuji had to fight the bodyguard. It's <laughs> like <laughs> It's like a... It's like a, 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 a doubles in, in tennis or something. Uh -huh. And then, of course, main character pulls out his ultimate move of pushing him down. Yeah. God, oh. it's been a while since I've referenced that. Also, Morgana is just, like, you know, tantalizing us with the possibility this will be done forever. And it's clearly a lie. Like, we know <laughs> enough Even to highlighting know. the text in red. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is, this is the culmination of everything we've worked for. This is the final battle uh, and then there's like 20 hours. 20 hours we might not hours. make it out of it alive. Oh, yeah. okay, maybe fine. not. No. Hasn't Undertale been taken a lot of times? Like, yeah, uh, how, you don't know anything about that. Like, it's one thing if it's uh, Anne, but you're some random student. Yeah, well, maybe he's Grandpa Day. Uh, what, what's wrong I mean, with has, uh, He's been taking a lot of days. It's been four days. <laughs> yeah. He took a week off because his grandpa died. That's, that should be good enough. Shut up, you dumb kids. <laughs> Whenever main character is not on screen. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Uh, I kind of agree with, with uh, Sakura here because I'm just like, I just want to get to the palace. <laughs> yeah, I'm alive. I, I made sure to contact uh, Yoshida before you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Also, um, thanks, Morgana? <laughs> I guess. I mean, thanks, Morgana, but, like, what, also... What? What, what? We didn't need to see Yoshizawa that badly, okay? No offense. Yeah, I mean, it's... We're like, not... We're not... I mean, we do have a max rank with her, I guess. We almost got murdered. Who cares? <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> Oh man, it's much like we just executed Ray Croc on television. We almost got murdered. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're taking it more seriously than executing Ray Croc live on television. Mm -hmm. So, we got some um, hard to translate dialogue here. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a pleasure meeting you. That kind of sounds like, yeah, that's classically like Japanese cadence translated. Right there, there too. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Once again, still identify a lot with uh, Vitav here. Still have not done any of her, her social link, though. It was the one that I was forced to do, and then uh, I don't have enough kindness to do anything else. Wow. Because that, as you would expect, is the hardest stat to raise because of the way the main character mostly just looks out for himself, I assume. Well, he doesn't really have any personality, so it's hard for him to like have empathy for other people. It's like, what does that even mean? High charm, high... Uh, do proficiency, extremely gutsy, but I mean, it's like it's, it's very easy to be gutsy when, you know, you don't have any reaction to anything. <laughs> right now, the main character's profile is somebody who's just incredibly charming, brilliant, you know, intrepid and stuff, and then just casually says something incredibly offensive and doesn't even realize it, and then everybody's just like, that guy seems like he's pretty nice, though. Uh, not, not after that, though. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Because he didn't get that kindness stat maxed out. <laughs> yep. No, but really, it is very hard to max out the kindness stat. The, like, the thing I gotta do is I gotta go work at, like, a flower shop. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> well, you know, they say kindness costs nothing, but they never played Persona 5. Oh, I guess you can read books, too, but I've already read all the kindness books that I can, and I'm, like, rank 2. Uh -huh. It's like, so yeah, Futaba's not gonna be a social link doing it here. I guess maybe, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I was nearly killed a couple days ago, so like, it's hard to go out and do social links or work at flower shops or something. I worry that with the royal, they're you know, because I, I think that there, there are two big terrors that I have. One of them is that there's a lot more to the end of the game, not just. We know there's we stuff already the know. We know that. There's but another palace. I don't I know if it's optional. I worry that there's more to it, and then in turn, I realize that there's going to be much more with the royal because we don't really know that for certain. But I don't know. Like the fact that Yoshi's out, like she only has five like social links, right? Yeah. That makes me think there's actually ten, and we just don't get to one more. I don't know if that's true though. And then after this palace, or after whatever the hell we're gonna do in Mementos, that it unlocks the other five, yeah. and after, then we have another full like month or something to do social links. And yes. I'm gonna have to do it. I gotta get, is, we gotta get Y maxed out. That that is my big terror. And of course, you can't. You, you, we're not gonna back down from there. We have to finish this game. No, you're right. We I'm not gonna be like. Nope, I said that I was going to be Persona 5, and this is no longer Persona 5. This is Persona 5, the royal content. It's like, nope. I, I didn't I haven't done that before. Mm -hmm. no. You can clearly see the subtitles on the screen right now. Well, what if they released another expansion? Would you play that? No, no, no. no. But no. no that's, I, that's beyond the scope. It depends. DLC is a thing with games that come out where it's uh -huh. just like, am I going to do it? Maybe. It's, it's up in the air whenever that sort of thing happens. Sometimes I'll do it, like, uh, uh, for example, very recently did the, the cross-code epilogue DLC, or uh, Hollow Knight had, had, like, Godmaster and everything. But then there's also other ones, like uh, Celeste, I never did the, the Chapter 9 stuff for. Yeah, though so I can imagine the game like Celeste, that's a game you really have to get into, and it's sort of like, well, I'm not just committing to it, it's like I'm committing to playing the whole game over again, basically. Okay. 
Ah, oh, yes and no. I mean, really, it's like when I was recording it, it was one of the most stressful games that I have played, even though it didn't actually take all that long to record. It's something about the way that it requires such extreme precision and everything like that. And sure, for for when we're talking about, um, yeah, like something like Dead Cells, I have a thousand hours in that. So last I don't. <laughs> That's why it's like, ooh, I don't want to, I don't, it, it, it's the best game I'm never going to play again. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, that makes sense. It's it's very good. It's just oh man, just just getting back in that, that grind set mm -hmm. is gonna be something. Yeah. Which is why I just decided, eh. Well, you know what they say, you gotta you gotta have the grind set to beat the mindset. That's what they say. <laughs> I've never heard of the word grind set until like three days ago when you said it. And is it is it like a thing? Are the young people saying grand I set? still don't understand what it is. I told you that what happened was we just got in a debate about Pepper. Okay. <laughs> so I don't, still don't oh, understand what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, the whole thing where Pepper is not the num everyone. Should it be a number two or should it be like an honorary second best spice? And we're thinking, no, probably garlic pepper. All yeah, right, okay. let's go. Yeah, okay. I, think there's, I think there's probably several things that could go to that. Yeah. That'd be, go for that honor. Uh, nobody pointing out is real wacky today, although I do like Ryuji really leaning backwards. Uh-huh. Let's go. You, you anyway, well, let's get in the there. Posture a lot. I, I just love the, the metaverse, well um, transferring into yep, yep. scenes. Oh, okay. What do you, what would you call this? Threshold scenes? Sure. Yeah. I guess. Um, entering... Come on, there's got to be like a word that I can think of here. Give it to me. Uh, Give it to me. The, we demand uh, it of you. I think threshold is a pretty good one. The precipice. Uh, no, but what's like what's like walking into a place except fancy? <laughs> um, I think uh, threshold is a good one. I mean that that just refers to the the point of the. Oh, that's ground. a noun though. What's I need a verb. Oh. Uh, Look, we will spend the rest of the 50 minutes of this episode figuring well, this out if you well, don't give me something. Threshold can be used as a verb. Like, it's used in, like, faction stuff. You know, you, we're going to threshold that. Uh, uh, we're gonna that's that not threshold. good enough. There's the ballot boxes on the tables, uh -huh. like I was talking about. Uh-huh. And also the t <laughs> extremely... <laughs> that looks less like napkins and more like the people are trying to eat some sort of uh, large white triangle. I don't like that you didn't go immediately to the brochures, but maybe I just didn't remember where things... Like, our... No, we already got the brochure. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no wonder. Yeah. That is unfortunately the only one in the game. That for some reason, well, unlike say Madarame's palace, they, uh -huh. uh, you know, didn't split up the map for some reason. <laughs> uh, no. So the only one in the game. So you are implying that it was the same one from earlier, yes. the, the Madarame palace. No, oh, yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, it's. They're, they're all connected in my mind. It's it's like the King's Secret thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did, there's only there's only one pamphlet, <laughs> and it just changes forms over time. When once it was, it was seemingly destroyed in Madarame's palace, it really took a new form in Shido's palace. Yeah, it's like the idea that there's only one photon in the universe that's just going through the speed of light and you know going back in time, going through the universe over and over again because they don't experience time going at exactly the speed of light, right? at that point is that how that works it's one of the it's one of those theories that i've heard it's one of those things that like you know scientists say is like yeah you know this technically you could be you could say that there's only one photon in the entire universe and that's how i feel about the pamphlet it's just it's going through in and out of all the timelines like it's this quantum pamphlet yes you can't spell I pamphlet see. without leap I, I actually think that's true but yeah it is yeah hmm I have never heard that before. That's interesting. That's that's a common phrase. You can't spell pamphlet without leap. Oh, uh, yes, of course. That's that's what I was referring to. As the saying goes. This door won't open. As the saying. It's the many door. sayings that we've been coming up in this episode. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we got to go find uh, membership door. cards. Okay. This is one of those things where, uh, once again, we're doing this in English rather than Japanese. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is, in this palace more uh more story based stuff than usual but i just decided to throw it all into the english bucket because you know mm -hmm. i just didn't want to go through the effort of kind of separating out the 
talking to people to find a membership card versus things that are story relevant, mm. basically. Yeah. That did kind I, I, I will say that at the end of the palace, there is like a... We do get like a little bit more of like actually important story stuff and not just like throwaway things, which I probably should have, but... Hey. Eh. Well, what, what have we established in this, uh, in this palace from these customers? <laughs> not much. I mean, other than they dropped the thing that we need to get. On the Ark of Elite. I do like that that's his name. <laughs> we, we compared it to the Titanic last time. It's like, yeah. yep. Yeah. All unsinkable. Uh -huh. I mean, of course. Well, you know, it's it weird because I don't think that any of the other palaces like had a name aside from, you know, Madarame's palace mm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. This one actually does have a proper name. Yeah. I was going to say Shido's Palace, and I'm just like, wait a second, we're in Shido's Palace. Well, well, as we've learned from country music, though, unsinkable ships do sink. That's true, that's true. Also learned a lot about uh, being fancy. Yeah. I don't really know a whole lot of country songs, I'm going to be honest. Well. <laughs> that's something that, like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do more on. Like, at best, I not. Well, it's a great uh, I got, I got no bona fides, but let's just say that right Yeah. Now. It's, uh, but that is something to do later. In the meantime, there are actual shadows around here and everything. I've just been surprisingly good at not getting hit by them here. <laughs> Which I suppose it's... I mean, it's interesting that this is a little bit more like uh, uh, walking and talking and not just going down hallways. Don't worry, <laughs> though. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's much more personal, which makes sense because it's a politician's palace. Once again, the palaces are pretty fantastic in the in the design here. Although the the uh, yeah, we we know I know where I'm going. Uh -huh. I know where I'm I know what we're doing, guys. <laughs> this is why this is in the Japanese version. Yeah. Also, every single one of the doors on the ship is VIP. Um. Yeah. Let's head in. Man, you're saying this as if there might be something in here that we would not want to add in. <laughs> Why are they allowing every single person here to go in based on one card? That's a good question. One that will not be answered here. Okay. So, funny enough, uh, the there is like a um, oh nice piano rendition of the palace theme in the restaurant. <laughs> okay, too bad. I could probably analyze that, that a table. little bit. But, no, I can't hear it. Right. That influential politician yeah. comes here. It's unfortunate. It's not, uh, I, I still think that as far as palace themes go, uh, the, the I'll go. music, um, if we go in a last room. one was better. Okay. Wouldn't it be odd with it's just catchy, one but, you know, it's just kind of like a Does someone want uh, to come with me? somewhat threatening sort of music. Mm -hmm. That was my Doesn't have lyrics like, uh, like, like Whims of Fate, the, the theme for, for it's Size Palace did. Yuki you talks you in smaller? this really weird, like, way. Uh, I was like, just, why you it's like, so it's very much like he, when he's saying, like, just uh, random stuff about, like, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll do that. I'll be your bro. And then sometimes he'll say, that is All not right. my intention. We're going in. <laughs> Everyone else stay here. Well, I'll you might think that as being, right. like, uh, when you have to yeah, localize a thousand hour long game full of more dialogue than, like, ten brothers Karen's off, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Uh, is that an uh, actual I thing that this. you determined from your creation? No. Okay. I, it would be impossible because of the way that I format the okay. uh, the, the script. I mean, I guess I could do like a word count or something, but having the main I having characters' names in there and everything like to it, I'll throw that off. Yeah. Well, so, sorry, we just Additionally, you're not you're also issue. not getting like descriptions of stuff. Shido, it's yeah? purely dialogue. They uh -huh. seem to be major figures in the political and so, financial worlds. I, however, like, are you sitting there, it's a, it was enough that I had to stop Who's updating the uh, one, the one um total total here. transcript. So, yeah. This is the Persona Five I know and love. Leisurely. So let us eat our Children big white like triangles here. Come on, man. Yeah. Why you gotta be harassing me? All right, it's Persona what Five. Was that? <laughs> Skull. One of the things they said here was just like, oh, you wouldn't get Sorry. full on food that you ate in a palace. And it's just like, wait, what? We've been selling everything we've gotten from the palace to like a Y. And you're telling me that it's just, Excuse it's me, not even just like fake. It also like just disintegrates into nothing or something. 
This will be and also like the whole thing where we sold like the Olympic medal and all that. This that's a that's an interesting little revelation just kind of like thrown into uh, some random throwaway dialogue. <laughs> Why do you need an introduction? This is a pretty weird, like... We wish to be granted an audience with him. <laughs> At least this has the excuse of it's taking place in the brain world. <laughs> yeah, and I guess, um, I, I, I do like that she's saying, like, his political ideology resonates with us, which is not a bad thing to say that. Like, I mean, it's generic and stupid, but it's like, it's it's like, okay, that that is, uh, that sounds plausible. We're in the super brain world. <laughs> And of course, we got a. Uh, and he simply obeyed. Yep. That was yeah, a that's a plot thing right there. Revelation. Uh, yep. And that's uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what I was talking about. We get uh, we get a few of those sort of revelations. <laughs> we find out that once again the world is uh, getting compressed more and more as we get farther into the game. And as it turns out, only five people live in Tokyo. Did you know that? Wow. Out of the hundred million people that live in uh, Japan, <laughs> or so. Well, it's one of the smallest cities in the world. Of course, so that makes sense. Calendar, I didn't realize it was so, like, it was smaller than, like, an apartment building. But, yeah, I guess that makes sense. There's five people in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep. <laughs> that's it. It's actually, that's why it's Everybody called else. Tokyo. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it, that's always been. No, I, I don't. I don't know what you mean. Elaborate on that. Well, Go is Japanese for five, recall. That was you? Oh. Okay. Wow. The president of some company and I'm the one studying the language here. <laughs> Look at you. You're really you're you're coming up in the world. That that was a really that stupid thing I said, but I mean, yeah, okay. Um, also, uh, I want to yeah. point out. So this was the engineer. How are your Japanese studies going, by the way? I know you've been uh, looking at the the transcripts and everything, trying to kind of like follow along as well. Uh, I I mean, no, I'm more interested in just how translated Japanese sounds in English. That's my only well, I, this is a pretty good example of that. I, yes. I mean, I've said that before. Or just like, hey, this is an extremely like accurate, uh, an extremely well, accurate translation. But yes, that was not my intention. It's a very nice. Japanese thing to say. Mm -hmm. Tame. Anyway, Anata, the snakes. Let's eat. Yep. No, that's, we're not going into full-on vor town here. Okay. Not this episode. That would be if we ever did, uh, of course, um, Digital Devil Saga. Uh, let's see, that's is it, the vor game. Okay, so um, I have not. Uh, you know, I know that Itadaki is a uh, is a borrowed word because eat at the beginning refers to the eat in English, and then the rest is just uh, Tadaki Masu. That means let's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Itadaku, it means to give in extremely polite language. Okay, well, I am actually taking, you know, those, uh, the, the English teacher exams. Where I have to, uh, you know, demonstrate a certain amount of proficiency in Japanese. So I'm hoping that's right. That is the final answer that I need. It, it, you know, my test. Actually, that's the entire test. My test hinges. I've seen it on, before. Yeah, it hinges on that one, of course. So, yeah. I'm, 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 hoping exactly. that, I'm hoping that you validated me with the correct... Okay, we're done. Yeah, not only validate you, I've given you my own letter of introduction. Yes. You had you had to beat me up for it after I transformed into a bunch of snakes like a, a bloodborne enemy. But you know, yeah, yeah. That's just what happens when you when you get letters of introduction. It's like people, you know, you might you might be thinking that it's like people would be freaking out here, but this is normal. Yeah. But so just to be clear, uh, <laughs> uh, that it is good that they're telling the story. By the way, I'm no longer a bunch of snakes. I do want to make that clear. Yes, I'm back yes. Yeah. <laughs> into the single bird that I was before. <laughs> okay. Terrible. Um. That's, so, the, that's the trifecta. I'm both a, a, a Pontiac Firebird, an actual Phoenix, and a bunch of snakes. I can tell you've thought this through a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, look, man, when you're going to be a VTuber like I, <laughs> you got to know your lore. Keep the truth oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. So uh, with this, and why is everyone say that to the straight face? Why did everyone else show up? It turns out Principal Here. Kobayakawa was connected I mean, they were basically just all. sitting in the background the entire time. Okay, so they're just waiting for us to have this conversation with this politician. Yeah, they were trying to run over there, but the, as it turns out, all the battles take place in uh, extremely, like, slow down time. If you saw what they actually looked like when they were fighting them, it's like you would realize that they couldn't even cross the floor before it ended. Is that true? Or is that something you know? No. Okay. None of this is true. 
cognitive beings were nothing more than weak <laughs> now, the, the explanation for why we can only have so many party that members in here was supposed to be because it's like cognition. if we took the entire party member everybody would be able to he see us instantly an appearance <laughs> of an actual person so just taking a couple it's like you can leave them to, you can have them um, stay back and then switch it's them like out when the uh, people run out of sp basically never seen anything okay. Like it's like okay before. fine whatever as far as an, really as far as explaining game mechanics go i think Wasn't that's reasonable yeah yeah and i would like to say so this writing that they're doing so first of all i want to say that the fact that they've transformed into these weird smt masters i think that's a good thing i think it's ridiculous it's absolutely nonsensical but it's fine it's, it's just, it's cool. Like, we're in the brain world, and Shido, he knows about, like, cognitive science. He can probably yeah. cause his his rando NPCs yeah, so to course. also be shadows. Because Whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I just, I just accept it. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, what I, and I also think that so far what they're doing in this palace where... First of all, they're establishing the parameters. Okay, he's a politician, so he's, uh, you know, here's how his ship of state, so to speak, looks. Where he's got this. I, I think they're doing I mean, a good job. I wouldn't job. even say so to speak. I would just say that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. And I would say they're doing a pretty good job with, like, how they're they're handling this. You know, like, they're just, okay, they're telling the story of Shido, how he's connected to these people. And, you know, they're, they're doing it through these this little stupid, like, you know, collection quest. I think that's pretty clever, actually. Like, I, I, you know, I wish they did that kind of thing. I still say the palaces are pretty good. Yeah. It's, I don't, can't really say that I'm a huge fan of, like, the, yeah, we get it, guys. We, we get it. We get here, it. Okay? Well, really, it's, but, I think it's the kind of thing where why do we have anything outside of the palaces kind of thing like what why that's more my thing it's like if you can tell the oh, story oh no we needed to have that scene in the last episode where Goro and Shido just just explained everything even though we're about to meet a character called the cleaner as the fifth uh, the fifth um the letter of introduction that we need well we're complaining a little bit let's return to the conversation at hand <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Again, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, just it's, that's. I told you that it's like the Persona Five never stays. Uh, it's always Persona Five. Yeah, I cannot escape its crossing fate. It's Persona this. Persona, just personality. There you go. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> there, I said it. Mm -hmm. Like what? Is, mm, mm. Persona Go. Damn it. It's set. Shut up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, don't shut up. We have like <laughs> bad 40 more minutes to go. <laughs> no, you, 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 no, I meant I meant the game needs to shut up. <laughs> oh. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I did not see this coming as far as the mechanic of your returning. Yep. But, uh... I like how okay, dumb. so it wasn't just Mott. <laughs> I like how dumb Ryuji is where he's just like, Oh, what the hell? We're rats. We're mice? It's like, yeah, what do you think? What do you think, Ryuji? <laughs> no, no, no. They, they, they just happen to turn into creatures that only superficially resemble mice. If you were to, like, dissect them or something, you would see that the internal organs are entirely different. Uh -huh. Well, if you were to dissect the main character, you would find nothing. <laughs> no, it's just... He's just like a stuffed rat or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's all just packing peanuts in That's <laughs> irritating. I agree. Uh, That's right. You're all just mice between we my be feet. Between doors. my feet? And any no. Enemy we try no, that's that probably state, not what I want to say. To well, you know what they say. So uh, we uh, if anything, the that should, to I mean, that should give us some hope because, like, the best laid plans of mice and men. Uh, wait, how does that go? Wait, <laughs> wait a second. I don't, I don't think that's correct. Well, anyway, hey, it, now finally, we don't only get Rat and we also get Rat every <laughs> character if you want to see him. Because, mm -hmm. like, you know, uh, Haru would have never turned into a rat prior to this point. Well, she's rich. Mott was a one-time mini boss. Mm -hmm. So I think that's... Is that a plus in the game's favor? Anyway, so these are the, like, in-between sections the uh, while we're going into the each of the individual areas, which are all very lined up completely linearly, which the whole scene about... Yes, also animations. That is cute. With the whole thing about, like, uh, hey, we got to remember who all five of these people are is just absurd, but I also mentioned that in the last episode, but this is Persona 5, so repetition is not only to be expected, it's to be welcomed. Anyway. Well, re repetition legitimizes. Uh, 
What, what was I getting at? <laughs> Whatever. I don't, I don't know. The, uh, the, oh, th these are the, the in-between oh? sections. These are the in-between sections. This is when we don't do the, the guy stuff. Yeah. We get rat time. <laughs> this is the interstitial section of the boat. Not opening. It's true. That is that is okay. exactly true, though. The, yeah. Or I guess what you might call this is the rats in the halls. Yes. The rat. Yeah. Yes. He's just about to be like, oh, rats in the... Oh, wait, no, that was the reference you were making. Yep, you got it. Ah, dang. Uh -huh. I wanted to make that reference. I don't like how much energy I've got because it means that by the end, we're just going to be... It's going to be terrible. Like, that. remember that last time, the energy? Oh, uh, you mean when we record more stuff? Because all the episodes are done right now, uh, we can just jump right into uh, Shido's Palace Part 2. Oh, uh, Shido. You, 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 Shipto. You, you really, you really... You're really pushing my... My, my limit here. Come on, you're, you're ready for more ship though, right? <laughs> I, I, I could do this, yeah. If, if there's gonna be rats, we could possibly do more than one. I don't know. Really, it's up to you if you feel like it. Uh, I uh, did not, I, I didn't switch over to the other characters. I mean, I think that would have been fun to see what every single one of them looked like. Yeah. Except for Goro. Well, he didn't betray us. He could have been a rat right now. Yeah. You know, honestly, he would have looked really cool as a rat. <laughs> like with that mask, I don't even know. He'd probably be clipping into the ground the entire time. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, there is also, like, unique animations for uh, getting into battles, but we'll I'll see that in the next episode. Fight. I'm too good at the video right. game to actually get into a fight as a rat. So are you for just, now. like, like for these go. random enemies, you're just, like, slashing their throats, right? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be ripping their mask off. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, uh, to yeah. be fair, we effectively do I'll that a like lot of the time. Uh -huh. All right. Show Tayomi Seiro. Good work. Show me your true form. Okay. Okay. He also says that in English. But, uh, and he says that pretty much every time he rips off one of those masks, which is why I immediately brought that out there. I like It's a brain ship. I like that whenever we unlock doors, like, this is a running theme in the game. Yeah. We have to get, like, a cutscene explaining that the door is unlocked. I'm glad you noticed that because I was going to point that out as another reason why this is the English version, not the Japanese one. <laughs> anyway, we turned off the rat light, so we don't turn to rats in rooms now. Show me your true I form. hate when I go to the, the like Walmart and accidentally buy the rat lights rather than the regular lights. It takes so long to unscrew those light bulbs, you know? Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you're Stuart littling about. Oh, because you turn into the mice when you... No, shut up! I want to just say Stuart littling about. I thought it was clear. That, that was pretty fun, yeah. <laughs> I found a chest. Like, the, can, what do you do, can nobody... Can nobody appreciate a good reference to the 2000s movie Stuart Little about a mouse who uh, can speak like a human and I, is... I think but, that like, was... Living his life. I think that was based on, life. like, a book series, too. I think it was only based on one book, but I'm not entirely oh, you sure. Possibly, yeah. Could could not tell you to be honest. Mm -hmm. huh? Yep, we're not a rat. <laughs> hey, this feel kind of weird to you, <laughs> not being a rat. Yeah, like I got used to it. <laughs> I think it might have been that button we pushed. I like that we have to like comment on that. We can't just. I mean, we can't just idly I, notice it. Now, to be fair. I didn't need to examine the statue. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering if they had anything to say about this big golden statue of Shido we were looking at. Oh, yeah. But no, no. Ryuji's just reminiscing for the time that he could, uh, uh, you know, scurry through the halls and beat a rat. Mm -hmm. what, what's the benefits to being a rat? I mean, you can get into vents you couldn't get into otherwise. I did. That is true. That is the one thing that we can do with that. Mm -hmm. And, like, literally the one thing that you get from that, considering you can't even fight enemies. Yeah. Much like in the Mott fight. The, the fight against Mott the Hoople. I, you know, to explain, I know that band, but I don't so know far. the reference you're making. Uh, it's the, 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 the mini boss that turned us into Wrath before was called Mott. M-O-T. Uh, based on the, the Egyptian god of death. Okay, okay. Got it. So, uh, <laughs> one of the things I like about the Will Seed rooms... Uh, is that every one of the doors that you see in the hallways of course, are, of course, seats, VIP. Huh? <laughs> the will seat doors are VVIP. Wow, that's cute. Which is a good gag. <laughs> why, why the roses? 
I don't know. That was more of a Kamoshida thing. <laughs> Why are they appearing in here? Is Kamoshida actually related to Shido as well? <laughs> I no. No, I, I'll spoil that one right now. No. Okay. Oh, oh, really? Okay. I thought they were gonna make it so that Cheeto. I, I mean, seriously, I thought they were gonna make it so that Cheeto was tied to all the other ones, which would. Kind oh of yeah, Cheeto's gonna be tied to everybody by the end of this. I mean, like Ryuji's dad turns out to be Cheeto. Makoto's dad then turns out to be Cheeto. We've already you, you done thought this. it was uh, Sakura. Nope, Cheeto. Okay, you you are aware that we already did this. If you. Ka okay. Ka Kawakami. Uh -huh. No, not her father, but didn't you ever notice that that's not her Excellent. real hair? And it's that she's always chance. talking about how she has to go and be a legislator now? Oh, Think wow. Think about it. Yeah, that yeah? makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's really almost not an exaggeration, though, saying that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh hey, this, the, the plot revelations here are pretty ridiculous. Anytime there's a chest it up, and I hear this all the chest music. Yeah, it's... It's really just like I don't I don't even know how you describe it like tinkling noises. Da, na, 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 na. It's like a it's an endless kind of crescendo kind of thing. I think it actually. Well, I, I, yes, I know what it sounds. I know what the Zelda chest noise sounds oh, like. You're, I've you're played more it. Zelda games than you've lived years of your life. That's possible. That is maybe possible. Yeah, <laughs> played a lot of Zelda. I mean, I played like seven. No, probably only like six or seven. You watched me play Skyward Sword. <laughs> yes, I did. That's right. Ah, oh, yeah. Characters just keep posing in the pool, as you do. At yeah, least. Yeah. <laughs> also, the shadows look really weird. Yeah. You're not supposed to look at that too closely. Yeah, this is kind of... I like this like the surreal lighting. I like the pool, but yeah, this doesn't really hold up like, if you're really you looking got at a it. Sec? <laughs> well, the, the T-posing characters, I think, are basically uh, that. Yeah. Also, the beach chairs nice are, of course... Today, huh? Shiro Actually, Brandon maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I, I go it's very, it's very yeah. Kaneshiro's palace. That's a nice little touch. I get a closer look it's at them in the next episode. Down. Anyway, he's a womanizer, what? so uh, why? Do um, it. Hello there. We really would like to speak with you. We won't take much of your time. We'll I've got a question. Listen. So, is the stuttering please. in Japanese that you like? Sorry, but that is yes. Okay. Me. I don't have time for you, Rowdy. It absolutely so. is. Okay. Hey, you little. I mean, it, it, it is like yeah, literally the exact same thing. For our lack of no, he's not a real person. Oh, he's a, he's a shadow be. man. Come on, no, no, don't talk to the butler. The <laughs> I think that, that if I was gonna you take really a guess, I would say that like the only the five like people that? that we actually talk to in here are supposed there, to like represent real people and everybody else. Because again, I cannot imagine Shido having literally hundreds of people in on his scheme. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can see him having like hundreds of underlings. That would make sense. Yeah, but not. But they wouldn't know about like. But there's an inner the, circle. The super universe, and like they wouldn't be able to execute people with with Garo's help. I would say there's probably you know speaking as if this is realistic, but like you know probably 13 or 14 people in the inner circle, and then five or six people who actually know the full plan, like. Yeah, that's sort of deal. I mean, that's that's what I would think. That's a classic like, conspiracy. Movie. Who knows? There could like literally everybody who's not the main characters could be part of Shido's whole crew. For all I know. Yeah. By the way, there's a definite like the, like the thing with Caesar, like Julius Caesar, the conspiracy against him. That's one of those like really ridiculous things where like there was a lot of people who knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. was like sixty or seventy people in that Roman Senate who were like, you know, we we all they all could have uh, participated in it. I mean, at the end of the day, it was only the main people who actually like went forward and did it, and everyone else just kind who of you know stabbed him to death. Yeah. Who then fall Caesar him, but, Kaiser. By the way, I want to point out that was actually a pretty like uh, Julius Caesar by Shakespeare was a pretty accurate description of that. Like he was actually describing the different people who were involved in it. Like, it was pretty much them. He didn't... Oh, it change. doesn't surprise me at all, given, like, the rest of the... <laughs> Man loved his history. In fact, like, uh, you know, the uh, mm -hmm. famous Et Tu Brute? That was... The, the line was allegedly, according to the histor historical sources, Kaisu Brute, which was in Greek, because he was, a, in a, you know, a Roman elite. He would, you know... He would just know multiple languages. It, well, he would speak Greek, but isn't that interesting, though, that he used Greek because he spoke Latin normally, <laughs> you know? And yeah. Caesar, 
in the play speaks Latin, which is like Greek for that time, for the like 1600s. I don't know. I was yeah, found that yeah. cool. Yeah. It's like, that, that is interesting, in fact. I did not know it, any of it's this. It's just a nice little touch, okay. which this game is mostly a Latin game. Wait! <laughs> this game. I mean, don't, don't expect uh, Shakespearean. So, well, actually, wait a second. Uh huh. Uh, maybe later. Anyway, um, for right now, though, we got to go to the fitting. <laughs> the only issue. And then I, the other thing is that it's just like you can have like 60 senators in on the whole plan when they don't have fucking cell phones. <laughs> and when do they go to the bathroom? And when do they go to the ba No. No, we had to kill an episode because of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, yeah, hey, Joker, you, you got to bust in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm about to bust. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> d d just, I did, uh, King of the Hill memes. Anyway. <laughs> you did it, Joker. <sighs> you did it, Joker. We you did it. We broke into the somewhere. fitting room. Yeah. Why? And more importantly, isn't this a fitting room? It is. It says yes, fitting room in the background there. Here and I'll be right back. <laughs> it says the Ark of Elite fitting room. What's he up well, to? you know, it's uh, famously know, really the Titanic. Um... It's One perfect. of the reasons so many people died is because they, they <laughs> couldn't totally you know they couldn't be fitting room in the lifeboats. You have quite a scary look on your face. That's, that was Actually, a little. I, I was crazy. less clever when I said it than it was in my head. <laughs> it sounded better when I thought. Noble dude is. I because they couldn't fit in the rooms. They were so it's you girls time rich and fat. <laughs> I think grammatically it has to be they there. Co they couldn't be fit in room. I didn't think that we were really going with such a okay. good enough. Well, really, you no didn't think that that's where 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 this was going when he was told to be a womanizer? I told you that it's like yeah, we might not be seeing a whole lot of uh, Are we really going <sighs> a lot of fan service in the anime parts, but we'll we'll get it again. We've Got to reuse these models somehow and Haru. And also, Haru's here. Hurry. This feels like unseemly somewhere. on at least four levels. The fourth of which is the fact that they're just doing this to reuse assets. Like, Hello. <laughs> truly nice day, the, the most damning of anything. <laughs> like, at a certain point, want? that's like, that is like, people in, in the furry art community are like, oh, I don't know, that's a little... <laughs> I would never give yeah. one to some nobody. <laughs> Go on. I, I no, that would be their reaction. They just kind of like trail off. Like, yeah. to <laughs> don't know about that. The furry art community. Like they would be like, I don't know about that. Like even if I got fifteen hundred dollars to reuse like a, a model, I'd be like, ancestry cannot be changed. I don't know. I mean, from what I've seen of the furry art community, and of course, it's a lot. <laughs> I think, of course. I'm just uh, weird. Yeah. Those people are very, very uh, diligent in their work and would probably jump at the opportunity even just to recreate something that they've already done before. Yeah, yeah, just for just for the... Oh, yeah! And putting on a bad British accent. <laughs> this is what I want to hear. I told you we were going to get some Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespearean level writing. Mm -hmm. That's true. Shakespeare famously oh, had a British accent. Lady on treats quite well. <laughs> he, he sounded like uh, uh he British sounded like Jonathan Blow, of course. I, I can't believe we did. Jo I didn't research that. I can't believe I didn't research Japanese that, and we just did a whole thing where Jonathan Blow had a British glass. accent because he was so pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was basically it. It was that combined with other videos on the internet I watch. Uh -huh. My hobbies include tea ceremonies. We're specifically a uh, will, will right sort of in that same boat. <laughs> I see. I sense a you to show you Miss Paul. That is different from your servants. Servants? Lineage is absolute. Hey, no I'm the rich one here. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is a gap that cannot be filled. I can't believe they reused the, the beach scenes. That is just so damn straight. Hey, they made it, man. Uh huh. I guess they, how could they? How could they let that go? I do want to point out that in I think in less than twenty sentences, I could be wrong on this, but in about twenty sentences, I compared Persona Five to William Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, and 
a furry art commission. The goodness, do you look yes, yes, uh, the, the, the famed um, um, furry art commission community. Yeah. As well. you, you know, like that you famous Shakespeare play from 1620. So, how do you, you want sure? to... It was in the uh, it was oh, boy. The last play from the first folio. Yes, yes, that's, they members, called it the Fiend Folio. Mm -hmm. lines, why don't that's as good as I got. Uh, okay, so, Furry Eyes, a Shakespeare play. What do you got? Excuse me? Honestly, it kind of writes itself. Now, I guess, uh... Oh, <laughs> of course, uh, Midsummer. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that kind of there, already? There you Wasn't that... Done! <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go, yeah. Want to try on some other <laughs> swimsuits in my room? My, my the limited knowledge of Shakespeare plays comes in <laughs> handy once again. <laughs> I think you could do that. We could also go with the Taming of the Shrew, except it's an actual Shrew. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Comedy of Errors. Well, that was easier than I thought. Yeah, Comedy of Errors would be nice because you've got, like, the Dromios and the, uh, you know, the other people. You know, like, uh, they've got, like, twins and, like, mix-up and stuff, so you could have, like, two different animals with, like, different colors and stuff, like, for their brothers. It, it would. Oh yeah. It, it makes sense in my head. Like, you know the play. Pornius. Yeah. It's a manta ray. Uh, weak to ice, but lightning powered, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's strong to ice, but weak to light. I one of the two. Persona. Also another classic. Uh, the Mega Ten design, basically. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, these guys. Persona. We're getting. To the point, we've definitely gotten to the point in the game. I suppose I'll just say that right now. Wherein. Things have just stopped getting weaknesses. <laughs> this was the original design for Brandy the Dinosaur. It was originally going to be a, a, a manta ray. And then they just a said, flying manta ray with four eyes. We like we like the head, but we like to you know we, just, we think it'd be cuter if it was a dinosaur. Now, are you? T who says it would be cuter if it was a dinosaur for anything? Listen, I'm just relaying historical anecdotes. I don't, I'm not making a judgment. Well, I disagree with these people, whoever they might be. <laughs> Wait, who created, who created Bernard the Dinosaur? Was, I don't know. I actually, I didn't get that far. It was just this Dang anecdote it. about this thing. You know, the manta ray. No, we, did, we got so far into the Shakespeare conversation, and yet somehow <laughs> this is where we fall off. <laughs> I feel ashamed. <laughs> is, is Barney... Wait, what type of dinosaur is he? Because, like... Is he like a... Is, come to think of it, he's like a... Uh, imaginary. Because he's like a T-Rex, right? Like... Is he... Yes? Like... Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, right? Because I'm wondering... You can kind of see... And I hate doing this thing where actually, like, the, the Pokemon thing was, like, deep okay. because he's in a coma the, the whole time. But, like, wouldn't it make more sense if Barney the Dinosaur was actually, like, this vicious, like, raptor or something with, like, you would know, you teeth and claws and stuff, but the kids didn't realize. Uh, I feel like a hundred cracked articles probably have said yeah. the same thing. <laughs> I don't even That's the unfortunate thing when it comes to, to, um, yeah. this edgy, stuff like that. edgy style of comedy with so it's a cutie, th it's a cutesy thing, but uh, it's actually bad. Yeah. So <laughs> this it's it's one of the major reasons why I get so frustrated with a lot of um, RPG maker games, even ones that I like. Yeah. So he's screening potential So anyway, please join us next time for uh, when we play. I don't know, uh, Mogeko Castle. Passengers uh -huh. are wearing masks. You ready for that? He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. I would not agree to that so quickly. I don't know what you're talking about, so I can't say it. That's definitely why I would not agree to that so quickly. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I kind of mumble, like, mm -hmm. like if you, if you go back, you can, I do that about 30 or 50 times. Oh, I know. Episode. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. for clarification. I, I have to go through every single, I, I have to go through, like, the entire episodes and take them all out. Because uh -huh. I don't like you being so agreeable. You're supposed to be like the bad cop to my good cop. I, I, I kind of see myself as like a moral Support arbiter who can dip into the, uh, the you know, get, get mean sometimes. But you're so agreeable. Mm -hmm. I, I guess, is that your facade? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. I, I mean, I, I, I kind of... <laughs> you could have just gone, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, now I'm self-conscious about it. This thing that I brought up. Good, good. That's how you grow this, as a person. This thing that I self-consciously brought up, I'm self-conscious about in real time. Excellent. <laughs> that means that Persona has now 
um, caused you to to have a, a horrible mental break, Good. Okay, so, or at least the start of one. <laughs> well, how fitting. God, we are really scraping the bottom of the barrel in these last 10 seconds. We have 10 seconds left, okay? Uh, we got two more people and then the cleaner. Da, da. Next time, we're going to go with TV guy and IT guy. Two, two seconds. 